starting. Well, after an hour of fixing my own fuck ups, here we are. Um, I am Andrew. This is my lovely wife, Nona. And this is the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. Um, this is a pilot episode, so bear with us. Nona doesn't even like to be in front of a microphone at all to begin with. I have about this much experience in this. We're using all amateur equipment, shit that I bought off Amazon, not for podcast use. So if it looks like shit and it sounds like shit, it's because we're using shit. It's because we are shit. No, we're not shit. We're just poor. <laughs> this podcast <laughs> is intended to fix that problem. Um, so yeah. If you're watching this and you notice me looking around a lot, I am also, well, we both have our laptops. You can't see our set. Um, set. Our set is our uh, old dining room table that is in our office. So I'm going to be doing a lot of post-production work on this to make it not sound like we're in an echoey room with hardwood floors and solid walls with nothing on them. Um, and maybe I'll post a behind-the-scenes picture so you guys can see what this looks like. I might just take that picture right now while Nona talks and introduces herself uh, more than just my ramblings. Introduce myself? What am I supposed to say? Who am I? Yep. Okay. This is hard for me. I don't talk about myself. Andrew's the talker. Okay. How about this? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm born and raised right here in Wilmington, North Carolina. How about you, Andrew? Where are you from? I am from South Bend, Indiana area. Mishawaka, to be exact, for all three people that know where that is. Three people? Well, it is actually, it's a city bigger than Wilmington, but people know Wilmington like they know Myrtle Beach. So the only people that really know South Bend are people that know Notre Dame, Studebaker, and that's about the extent of it. At least with here. Interesting. The way that you talk about it, it's the hub of America. Well, if we could nuke Notre Dame off the map, it'd be a much better mm. location. But since I can't do that, um, and I just realized I haven't been switching cameras. We've just been on the two view the entire time. So here's a view of Nona, everyone. <laughs> Check out the refrigerator in the background. Oh. You like that? Um, yeah, this is a very much a work in progress. Um, we know that you're going to have opinions and you're going to be like, you shouldn't use that microphone. You should use this one. Okay. Um, we will have an Amazon wish list stuff for you, <laughs> and you can go ahead and buy that stuff for us. Um, I actually started on some sponsor pitches and stuff like that. So in this episode, Nona is going to tell you who is sponsoring us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I am? Yeah. You're speaking to the side of the mic instead of the front of the mic. See? I don't know what to do. So. Today's episode is sponsored by NonaPhelps.com. There you go. For all your insurance needs, go to nonaphelps.com. And in case it's going to get us in trouble, only North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. <laughs> if it's not going to get us in trouble, then... Oh. Yeah, just call her anyways. <laughs> She'll send you off to somebody else. It'll be okay. They might not actually know what they're doing, but we can Google just as well as you care. So, um, so Nona. Yes. Let's start our pilot episode off talking about TV shows that we both like and hate. Oh, God. This is going to be interesting. Why would it be interesting? Judging by my reaction, you guys can guess. We have complete opposite interests. For the most part. All parts. I wouldn't say all parts. Thousand percent. No, we like some of the same detective shows. We like uh, True Detective. We like, I mean, Dahmer was fucking weird, but Mayor of East Town. <laughs> like, why? Why didn't they? Why? Why? Why was the the episodic like direction for Dahmer was dumb? Like the whole episode of The Neighbor was just weird. It was The Neighbor. I'm not remembering that episode. We just watched it last night. <laughs> it was too scary. I blocked it out. Anyways, <laughs> um, doing an entire episode following the neighbor just seemed 
kind of weird. I oh, oh 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 in his apartment. Sorry, I thought yeah. we were going back in time no. to okay. Never mind. Yes. No, it was just it was weird because like I understand why they wanted to show it, but they could have shown it happening in real time instead of making an episode about it. Like they could have just shown the nine one one calls that were not being answered. Having an entire, it was like, it's like when somebody answers a question about something and they give you all this context and you're like, okay, didn't need any of that at all. They just answered, they answered questions that nobody had. Well, I don't know anything about Dahmer and I said that from the beginning, but does she play a role later in life regarding the police situation and anything do you know i don't know anything about her other than what we saw in the episode because reverend jackson came to see her specifically and was talking about civil rights and he kept saying you know i'm here to listen to you and i don't know i i don't want to spoil the ending and google it most people went to school and learned about this they just forgot about it like I did. No, I would definitely was never taught anything about any serial killers uh, in any grade. I was, well, I was four when he got caught and seven when he died, which would have made you two and See, five. I didn't even know that he was dead. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Anyways. Um, just like I didn't know that he ate his victims. Okay, let's, okay. Going back to the show, what was that? What was the other show? Um, the FBI one. Which FBI one? We've the, watched several. Oh, um, the original Criminal Minds, like all the way back to the entrance of the psychological. Yeah. Oh, gosh, what was it called? Um something should we google it that's yeah. why we've got computers yeah well while she's looking that up uh the premise of what i was getting at here i completely forgot because i have adhd <laughs> <laughs> when you hear me rambling it's because i'm talking to fill the gap while my brain tries to break the rust off and figure out what i was talking about um but anyways that show was like legitimately good yeah. They had, you know, all the different interviews with the different serial killers or they, you know, they coined the term serial killer at the time. Was it, it Mindhunter? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just typed in Netflix show like Criminal Minds. You know, because there was a movie with like Val Kilmer and LL Cool J and stuff like that mm -hmm. in like 02, 04. Okay. Called Mindhunter or okay. Mindhunters. And they were all FBI trainees and they were, or maybe they were like an advanced class or something like that. I can't remember. LL Cool J played like uh, somebody from DOJ who was like supposed to be like an observer or something like that, but they weren't supposed to know who he was and they figured out who he was anyways. And Val Kilmer got killed. And he was the one leading the class. I haven't watched the movie in forever, but it was a really good movie when it came out. Like basically one of the other FBI agents like just wants to kill his entire class, including Val Kilmer, the instructor. And okay. Yeah, it's this whole crazy thing. They're on like an island, some naval training island. So mm -hmm. there's like nobody else there. There's no way to get back. They were dropped off. They have to solve a mystery and then they become the mystery. Okay. So yeah, so we should watch that. Um, but I wonder if any of that was supposed to be like if, if because I, I genuinely don't remember if that was based on true story or any real characters or if they adapted anything i have it. we have the movie i know you're so proud you can't say that gets us in trouble this is all going to be bleeped you guys aren't <laughs> going to know what we're saying it's just going to be bleeped the entire time you're going to come to this section and be like what was he just talking about i saw his mouth moving and i heard this <laughs> this annoying sound maybe i'll oh i'll do sound bites of uh the dog's barking or something. <laughs> <laughs> Quickest ways to lose listeners. Dead air. Dogs barking. 
echoes. Probably right. screaming babies. Bye, guys. Oh, we don't have any. You don't have any of the above <laughs> yet. We just have you laughing. So, what did you find interesting about Dahmer? We're going to circle back to that. Oh. Why? Why? No. So, <clears throat> I I would say that I do genuinely wonder what goes on in the mind of a serial killer. That being said. Dahmer is not somebody that I would want to have a conversation with <laughs> and find out. Why not? There is too much broken inside to actually find out why he is the way that he is or was because apparently he's dead. Do you think... Ralph Boner portrayed his... I'm sorry, his last name is Boner? His name is not Ralph or Boner. It's a joke from WandaVision. What? All okay. right, that, that circles back to our differences in... I don't, remember his, I don't remember his real name. I don't remember his real name. I know his real name. I don't remember his real name. I don't know. He's a tall, skinny guy. His, the other guy, because they both... He played Quicksilver in the X-Men movies. And then another guy played Quicksilver in the um, Avengers Age of Ultron movie. And that was Wanda's twin brother. And I believe in the comics, they're Magneto's kids. So only one of them was in X-Men, but both of them were in the Avengers. And he dies in the Avengers. So she's mourning that. And so... They brought him over from the Fox movies after that buyout. And in WandaVision, that was like a cameo. Like, oh, they were teasing the Fox characters, the X-Men coming into the Avengers universe and everything. Only for it to be a guy named Ralph Boner who was brainwashed by Agatha Harkness, whatever the actress name is. I didn't watch it, so I don't know. I really have ADD and I did not take my Ritalin or Adderall today, so... This episode is going to be great. Um, somebody tell us in the comments. See, that's the engagement. We got to do engagement stuff. Oh, okay. By the way, I know that some of you won't see us. That's something that I forgot to tell you. People might listen to us audio only. So if we're doing gestures, we got to kind of explain what we're doing. And, you know, for those of you listening, he just. Waved his hands all around. For the for those of you listening, <laughs> known as naked, you should yeah. you should watch us on YouTube, or not YouTube Patreon. Oh. <laughs> if you were watching on Patreon right now for one dollar a month, you would have seen. <laughs> or three three dollars, yeah, three dollars. I couldn't get it down to one dollar. It's like minimum of two ninety nine or something like that. So go pay three dollars. Uh. <laughs> it's the bare. It's the bare minimum. It's the bare. Yeah. Minimum, yeah. unintended. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, anyway. the character that plays Ralph Boner, mm. that this whole train wreck that I want off over here on that tangent. Okay. It's basically a meta thing. The other guy, Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's now playing Craven the Hunter, is a, a Spider Man villain. So. He died in the Marvel Universe, but now he's going to be back in the Marvel Universe. Because, or I guess Do you Sony. hear yourself talking how stupid this is? It, yeah. Sure. I just put the camera on you so people could see what you were looking at. And look. <laughs> so back to Dahmer, what grade were you even taught about him? Because again, circling back to what I said, I do not genuinely remember ever being taught any serial killers i don't know so much fucking shit happened in like the 80s and 90s you have like the uh waco you got the unabomber you got Dahmer, you've got 9-11 just i mean right obviously we all know about 9-11 because it happened and it's a huge historical event but I'm talking specifically serial killers i genuinely do not remember a single class that we even discussed 
I believe Jack the Ripper was minorly discussed. And that might be the one and only. But that's like... It wasn't like history class. It was like literature, English class or something like that. Like, do you have to read about him or... I don't really remember exactly what class, but no, I do believe it was history because... For those of you that went to school. (laughs) Yes, please. And you think you know, tell us. If you happen to go to any of the schools that we went to, which is highly unlikely, or I guess not highly unlikely, but highly unlikely. Well, no, this is also a huge testament. You have always said that your school's system was far superior to North Carolina school school system. So if this is in fact true, that we never discussed it in class in any regard. Okay, so I went to... Penn Harris Madison School District in Northern Indiana. I went to Penn High School specifically. It's the only high school in the district. It's a county school rather than a city school or anything like that. It's still public school, but it's effectively an academy that you have to live in the district of. Effectively. And then for anybody here, we have no idea what you're saying. For anybody anywhere else, imagine your best private school that is good in sports as well not just academics but also good in sports and then take your biggest public school that population group at the school with the most available academic programs the most money it was infused with notre dame coaches money essentially i went to school with three different notre dame coaches kids kyle bray uh, Mike Bray's son, Clay Davy, Bob Davy's son, and Tyrone Willingham's daughter. And I can't remember her name. And uh, one of their strength and conditioning coaches. Can't remember his kids' names either. I always called the daughter a tree hugger because she took a picture hugging a tree. Not she's not an environmentalist at all. She was just hugging a tree in a picture, and it just stuck with me forever. 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 Literally, just thought of it right now because it's been with me. It's a core memory. It's a core memory. Wow. <laughs> wow. It really shaped who you are today. It did. Mm. Yeah. You guys, Meanwhile, you guys... I went to one of the poorest schools in the entire city and county. All right, guys. Look so at her. Look at her. You, Come on. Sit back. You, sit back. Uh, sit back. Come are, on. Shoulders out. You, Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Show the posture off. You, uh, <laughs> Can I see the education really, really benefited me? I'm glad they can't see me right now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, they're they're doing some experimental, I guess they have been been running. Did did all those schools that Cooper applied for, do they exist when you were in school? Um, Yes, the one that he was accepted into and he chose to go to which we won't say the name just in case um is that the only one it was the original one and it started when i was in middle school so it was brand new so for our for our studio audience that we don't have and for the audience on the podcast um all four kids currently go to charter school and cooper will be going to an early college high school in which the first two years he will complete all of his core requirements for the state of North Carolina and then the final two years he will get a an associate's degree with the potential obviously to move on to college and complete his uh, bachelor's and then any sort of postgraduate type programs um, yeah I like we had, I don't even know what they have out there anymore. Like it's, everything is so, like, what do you call it? It's always evolving. Um, for example, when I was there, we had like robotics teams and 
every sport you could think of, literally every sport. I mean, they traveled for rugby all over the country. We had, you know, baseball, football, wrestling, soccer, hockey. If it was a sport, the school had it. And down here, surprisingly, people do care about hockey here. My uncle played hockey here growing up. But for North Carolina, you don't you don't really think of hockey. I mean, they have the Hurricanes. You got Florida has the Panthers, and there are some warm weather hockey teams. But anybody that's it's like the equivalent of um, of like playing basketball and you know or football and stuff like that. Like athletes that are from the South typically are faster. Athletes that are from the North and the Midwest typically are bigger and stronger and like down here you've got these hockey players who spend all summer surfing and then they have to go to an indoor rink versus you go somewhere where it actually snows and speaking of which they had a blizzard last night apparently they had like a foot of snow i just saw it's 80 degrees here right now don't you want to move back (coughs) no are you sure I also don't really want to live here either. I don't know where to go. Florida, Texas. Ew, Florida? You're just going to get herpes walking into Florida. Do you know from experience? No, I'm just, there's like a walking disease there. I feel like she knows from experience. No. Uh, Maybe Texas. I feel like I could do, I feel like I could maybe tolerate Texas. Texas is Florida, big, I would not. Texas is a big enough state that you can either live next to the beach or you can live in Canada. What? Just the range of their weather, the size of the state, the distance. Effectively, like you know, from here, we could drive from here to Michigan And drive through, what, North Carolina? Oh, depending on which way we go, we go through South Carolina, from North Carolina, into Virginia, into West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan. 860 miles to get to my mother's home from here, roughly. And you can drive 860 miles in one direction out of Texas and still be in Texas. Okay. I don't know that that's exactly true, but... Somebody will correct me in the comments. I'm sure they will. By the way, coming back to the comments thing, we are everywhere. We are on our own website, he's wrong, she's right.com. We are on YouTube. We are on Patreon. We are on every podcast distribution platform. And if you don't like the platforms that it's populated on Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, Apple, you can subscribe to one of the RSS feeds. There are three of them. One of them from Spotify. One of them from oh FeedBurner, which is just proxying Spotify. And then one of them from our website. Um, so you can subscribe on whatever reader, listener, watcher. If you built your own custom fucking thing, that's cool. Um, watcher? What is watcher? I don't know. I'm just, you know, I just make up words. She she likes We're these, going back to Dahmer here on. She, she likes these chocolates called Ferrero Rocher, and I just call them Ferrari chocolate because it's easier. What? Yeah. No, you just make up random words. So? It sticks with you. You use them all the time. I hear you, and I'm like. Interdasting is the, well, the one that. I didn't invent that. That was, no. That was a special boy meme. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I learned about it from you, and so now I sent it to you. Myself and the four children. I sent, yeah. I'll say interdasting. And actually, I have to correct myself. And actually, in the meme, it's actually uh, spelled intra dasting. No, that's that's dumb. She says (laughs) about the misspelling of the misspelling. Um, next time I should have plugged this in. Or use the battery pack. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at on time? I don't know. We're 24 minutes into our first episode. How do you feel? 
I feel like we've talked about <laughs> nothing. That's kind of the point of podcasts. And actually, one of the things that I was thinking about last night was, what if it's really just the ADD rant? <laughs> Sorry about this wheeze and cough. It is uh, pollen season. What are you... <laughs> I stared off into space because of the ADD ramblings that I have to deal with on a daily <laughs> basis and just reel you in every single time. And I have to guess what is going on in that brain. Just like earlier, you were like, that thing, that thing, that thing. And I'm just. That's not what I said. You missed a word that I said. Oh, that's because you mumbled. I never mumble. I have one monotone and it just, the volume goes up or the volume comes down and it just kind of stays right here. And yes, my laugh doesn't normally sound raspy like that. My voice, does my voice sound normal? I feel like it sounds normal. No. Okay, my voice doesn't sound normal. Um, Pollen here has kicked my ass kicked our dog's ass too um and even whisper even whisper i did the little scratch on the camera (laughs) it's been on you the whole time oh god (laughs) (laughs) um i was scratching whisper and she was doing the like bella does like the scrunchies not as severely but she was kind of pulling back and wanting to pull her leg up and you know that's not that's not a normal whisper thing. She doesn't I, in she'll be nine this year. Is that right? She's your dog. You should know how old she is. I have to do the math on my birthday, like, and then I just subtract two for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Your brain. My brain? I have one. Yes, you do. Should we compare skulls? <laughs> I'm sure yours is twice as big as mine. I don't think so. <laughs> it's actually volume is deceiving, though. Like internal volume of stuff. Like the dog bowls when we were talking about that the other day. Would you have actually guessed that the the Yeti bowls could hold twice, one of those could hold two and a half times as much water as the pink bowl? No, I was thinking probably one and a half, but not two and a half. Yeah, yeah it's significant, the difference. And I wouldn't have guessed. They're not, visually, they're not that much different in size. Maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch shorter. Maybe, maybe an inch um, radius. But (laughs) you should see her face. Because taken out of context, this is totally going to be a dick measuring contest over here. Duh. (laughs) Duh. I don't know what else you... People, everything is going to be taken out of context. There's going to be something, somebody's going to piece together words that you and I said, and all of a sudden we're going to be talking about, like, domestic terrorism because we said 9-11 oh earlier. Somebody's going to chop up the video together with all these sweet tools. There's probably going to be somebody that's going to put their face on yours and repost the video. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> It's harder for me because I have a beard. It's actually pretty hard to transplant the beard onto... Like, you have to have a character that already has a beard. Otherwise, it's they can't figure out what to do with this. Like, what does his jaw look like? I don't know. Let's just make it fat. <laughs> you know how I know? Because you've done it before? No, well, you know all those different av- characters and stuff like that that I've generated and done like for the kids. And I did that, the space medic ranger eating the bacon and put my face on it. And you were like, it doesn't look like you. The hair's too long. 
just had to get it close enough. It just needs this part of me to kind of resemble me. Okay. Those are the only features, well, in the ears. Those are the only features people look at. Unless you're a weirdo. And then you stare at my butt. Or I catch you at the grocery store staring at my wife's tits. <laughs> Should we tell the audience about those episodes? Go for it. Why don't, they should hear from your perspective. You should tell it. Okay, so when I go to the grocery store, I'm power walking and just trying to get all the groceries that I need to get in a timely manner. <laughs> Meanwhile, this man is strolling behind me at a leisurely pace. <laughs> <laughs> Wandering the aisles, creeping at every single man who might possibly cross paths with me. And then, as soon as he sees a man just taking up space in the grocery store, (laughs) in the same aisle as I happen to be, he goes up to them. Did you get a good look? I don't go up to them. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I try and make it as awkward as... Did you as... get a good look, no. you say? I tr- yeah, I try and make it as awkward as possible by saying it from across the store. So everyone else sees and hears. Okay, so you can't really tell from us sitting down, but I'm like a whole foot and a half taller than Nona is. No, you're <laughs> not a foot and a half taller. I'm We're like a couple inches. I'm 6'3". You're 5'4". I'm not 5'4". I'm 5'9", you dummy. When I stand up and I have to look down at you like this. <laughs> Stop it. You're acting like I'm pocket-sized and you could throw me around. Uh, I can and do. <laughs> She's always like, I feel fat. And then I just pick her up and throw her across the room. <laughs> I'm like, do you still feel that way? Because... I yes. Don't... The answer is yes. No. Yes. No. I'm like a medium sized specimen. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I'm like I'm all like six three, two seventy five. I'm like average. You're not two seventy five, but okay, we'll just skim right over that. Yes I am. Okay. I just weighed myself yesterday. <laughs> then you should probably change your scale out. It's called atrophy. Mm. Same volume, less muscle, more fat. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to find a gym? Yeah, I should. (laughs) should find another gym. For people that don't know, we just kind of moved. I just moved permanently, but she was over here for months, making life easier by not having to drive an hour or two and from school to pick up and drop off the kids. And then, uh, yeah, you should talk more. About what? About how you've invaded my space? I've not invaded your space. Oh my God. (laughs) What were we just talking about though? What led to this? What am I needing to go back to? We were talking about the grocery store and how you make it so uncomfortable and I don't go grocery shopping with you for that reason. That, nope, nope, that's not why. You told me the reason you didn't go grocery shopping with me anymore is because when you asked me, I said no. That's true also. (laughs) If you tell me no one time, I'm not ever going to ask again. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not true. You'll ask like 11 more times. And then you'll stop asking. And then if somebody asks you, then you get mad about it. You're like, no, I don't want you there. It's my time. (laughs) I've only been transitioning to you and to the wide camera. And to the fridge? Yeah. Well, I mean, right now it's been on the wide camera. But I transition to you periodically because I know people people are going to be like, Show her cleavage. Show her tits. (laughs) Well, I have it intentionally positioned right in front of me. 
Well, they can't see it anyways. They can't even see the top of your laptop. Cameras are too close. I'm saying I have the mic covering my cleavage. No? No. no. Oh, I thought I did. No, I just... No, I can see it. <laughs> Here, you want to see? Look at the screen over there. You're on the right. See? On the right, not the left. The right is what I see before they see it. Sit back like you were. Uh. Uh, all the way back. What? He protect. <laughs> he protect. Whoa, why is that out of focus? There we go. I don't know what was going on there. Anyways, um, yeah, so we are using three Logitech Brio 4K webcams because I happen to have two of them. And then um, went to... Warrior Rising Gala last March uh, in Iowa as their social media manager and had them get a third one since I already had two. I was like, hey, I could probably live stream some of this gala. And then that was a failure. It didn't work. Um, not a me thing. It was a Wi-Fi thing. Their internet at the hotel was just god awful. <laughs> it was bad. Even wired connection, just nothing worked. Everything kept dropping, and I just gave up. And I went and sat at my little table all the way in the back. Actually, I don't think I had an assigned table at that one. Because in Salt Lake City, you and I sat right up front, which I thought was weird. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you going to put your social media guy that has to get up and sit down like or in front of people and Walk up to the stage like, why would you put me right in front of... They learned their lesson the next time around. Well, uh, Alyssa was doing seating assignments, and I think it was just, oh, we need to fill this table. Pluck. You can sit there. Gotcha. Because they did, um, like, Edwin and uh, what's her name? Kelsey? Not Kelsey. What's her name? Christina? I believe so, yes. Um... Because there were people that they had openings at some tables because some people like paid for an entire table, but they only had like a party of six. So they would still have like seats available and stuff. And they were trying to fill those holes. And so when they got put like all the way on the other side, I was like, well, that's dumb because I'm working over here by the stage and you guys are all the way over there. So I guess see you guys in a couple hours. And then. They left because we didn't get to hang out with them. I, th I don't even remember. But they went again. They said they had fun. That's good. I don't know who else went. I think I think both of them went. I think Evan might have gone this time. I don't know. Wasn't there. I love how you're just saying all these names for the listeners. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, employees of Black Rival Coffee. Yeah. Edwin Parnell. So let's Evan circle Haver. back so yeah. you can. So Warrior Rising. I'm wearing their shirt. This is their uh, TikTok shirt. If you can't tell, the logo is literally made out of TikTok logos. It's got the little double 3D. I don't know what you call it. It's kind of a shadow, and then it's also like. It's very 80s. 80s TikTok logos. 80s. No, the the light, the Warrior Rising. Um... Jake mimicked the the TikTok. It's the same as the TikTok logo. It reminds me of just like. 80s low writing okay so, <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not on social media i don't i don't know any of this so warrior rising is a nonprofit, veteran nonprofit, uh founded by jason van camp who is a uh, special operations officer and uh they help veterans with entrepreneurship uh, they've got programs for Basically helping you learn from scratch how to start a business, how to fund your business, how to write a business plan. They use, you know, things that are familiar to veterans like op orders and all of that. Um, and then if you make it through the program, certain groups and demographics based on, you know, what's going on at that point in time. Like they've had all women galas before. They've had, you know, business uh, like you know, medical businesses based galas and things like that. 
and it's pitch competition. So they go to places like Goldman Sachs and some of these other places that they have uh, uh, donors or board members um, that will judge these pitches that these veterans have for their businesses or their organizations or their product or whatever it is that at that point in time. And after they go through the pitch competition, the judges will convene and they'll determine who is going to win the competition, which was $20,000. I believe it's still $20,000 if you win uh, as a as a grant from Warrior Rising that is invested into your business, whether that's equipment or whatnot. Um, they also give you MacBooks for attending the gala and fundraiser. Some other stuff, I believe, website and some level of marketing and stuff is included. This the reason I'm I'm hesitant on saying what they actually offer is because it changes all the time, and I don't want people to listen to this and be like, "Oh no, he said it was this." No, I don't work for them. Um, I was their marketing account manager uh, for about a little over a year, so I am very familiar with what they offered at the time, but. I'm not as familiar with what they offer on a regular basis because I'm not in their weekly meetings anymore. And what I say right now could be completely different. They might only give $5,000 an hour. They might give $50,000. I don't know. I'll find out though, but I don't know right this moment. And uh, if anybody is listening from Warrior Rising, I'm sorry for not getting it correct, but if you guys sponsor us, I'll make sure I get it correct. I love that. <laughs> Uh, And on that note, we will have a uh, portal for any potential sponsors uh, where you can visit and send your inquiries. I don't have our entire sponsor packet put together yet, but one of the nice things about what Andrew does is I'm a web developer and web host, and I can get all of the analytics, not just whatever you want to track, whatever I want to track too. And I like tracking everything and I do nothing with it, but it's very nice. I look at numbers and line go up and it makes me happy. Dumber. No. Yes. No. You sound so creepy right now. How? That's so creepy. When I watch all of my, when I watch all my, when I watch all my clients, um, analytics, like page visits, page views, time spent on page purchases, anytime line go up looks good to me and if i was good at my job good as a marketer that is i would use it to market my company but i don't (coughs) my business does a lot of bandwidth if you know what bandwidth is no 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 i don't Uh we have three things in common i like her she likes me. We like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the one thing I will agree with you on. Well, back to talking about Lemax. The only three things that we have in common. Back to talking about Lemax Media. Um, if you're looking for web hosting, web development, app development, custom integrations, AI nonsense, whatever, um, I am expert enough did you hear what i said expert enough yeah yes i agree yeah. I jack of all trades continue jack of all trades master of none that yeah. i agree as well i am the best at googling which also translates to i'm the best at ai because that's all ai is is just conversational googling okay instead of turning up search results you turn up chat results and then you can be like hmm, i don't like that answer Change it. And then it'll change it. Bard's pretty cool with that, actually. So you said it changed to Gemini? Trem- yeah, Gemini. Gemini's pretty cool with that. They had a new feature like a week or two ago where you can generate whatever you want, right? Just like anything else. And within the text snippet, you can highlight, say, say it generates five paragraphs for you. And there's just one sentence where you're like, no. You can highlight it and tell it to change it or remove it, or whatever. Which I know you can do with copy and paste, but telling it to do it for you is peak. I'm doing other shit and don't want to do this. Because you like bossing. 
anything around, including your little AI tools. That is not true. 100%. It's not true. 100%. It's not true. It is true. It's not true. Yes, it is. No. I don't boss anything around. Oh, yeah? No. I am... um, I help people understand that they always wanted to do it. Oh. And then tell them that they're stupid for not doing it to begin with. I've never called anyone stupid. Alrighty <laughs> then. Huh? Alrighty then. So. So. I know what we should talk about right now. Oh yeah, what? Sorry, if anybody was hanging on any of the words that we've had up until this point, it's already gone for me, so. Um, let's talk about Chloe's little controlling oh. girlfriend, parents thing. Okay, so today actually happens to be Chloe's 12th birthday. So dating at almost 12 years old is already terrifying. Um, but having open communication is, of course, important. And how she explained it to me was that they were going to be friends and do things together. So if dating at almost 12 years old or now 12 years old is hanging out and doing things together whether it's going to the movies, eating dinner, whatever, I'm okay with that. If it's anything more than that, let's have a conversation because 12 and doing anything more than hanging out is also a little scary. I know that you were already doing all the things at 12 years old, whereas I lived a very sheltered life and wasn't allowed to do anything at 12 years old. So I'm trying to meet in the middle and again, have open communication with my child and I take it you want us to talk about the other mom in the situation. So what? she. Okay, hold on. No, no. Let's let's back it up. Let's break each part of this down. At what age do you think is appropriate for kids to start dating? I mean, I do feel that. The age old 16 is probably a little antiquated. Um, That's what I was told. And I kind of had in my head 13-ish before becoming a mom of now teenagers what age do you think you should have been able to date um well nobody was interested in me so that was not an issue to begin with um had i been allowed to earlier i don't know that i actually would have because again that involves a second person (laughs) so there was no second person um i don't know maybe 15 14 if that what about you what's your answer since you were doing all the things at 12 i wasn't doing minus actually dating because you never actually took a girl on a real date you just did all the things no, I probably did. No, you definitely didn't because I had to teach you those things. I went to the movies. Okay. I walked around the mall and held somebody's hand. Oh, you <laughs> held somebody's hand. Such a good boyfriend. See what I have to deal with? <laughs> you don't have to deal with anything. I mean... If I want to be fed. Ah. So anyways, back to (sighs) Chloe. So the other mom in the situation after, I guess we should tell them, 
Chloe asked a girl out and the girl said yes. And then the mom sent me a long list of rules. Now, let me preface by saying my children do not have social media. I don't have social media. They don't have phones. They do have laptops, but it's for obviously schoolwork. Um, There's just very minimal outside interaction. And so this long list I, that was I would not me, say there's minimal outside interaction. They just don't have free, unfettered access. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Um, so, number one, no pictures are allowed to be taken of them together. Number two, no pictures are allowed to be taken and posted anywhere, including social media, shared with any friends, etc. cetera. Uh, number three. What was number three? I genuinely don't remember. Or if you even sent me the entire list and just kind of told me the key points from it, I don't remember. All I remember is that... Oh, yeah, sorry. Number three, they weren't allowed to be alone together in any regard. That's any kid that's at dating age at anybody's house at any point in time until they move the fuck out (laughs) well so they weren't even allowed to go see a movie together just the two of them how old's the other girl same age she's actually a little bit older she's already 12 i don't remember ever going to the movies just me and other 12 year olds i remember going with other older friends of mine but i don't remember being just dropped off at 12 with other 12 year olds i did but it was girls and not a dating situation because by the time i was 12 i think i already had at least two or three friends that were driving Oh, well. Hanging with the fast crowd. They were the people that I was already friends with before they turned 16. Mm -hmm. Just kids that lived in my neighborhood. But looking back now, you don't think that's weird? A 16-year-old hanging out with a 12-year-old? No. For the same reason that I'm sure Cooper's going to end up hanging out with some of Chloe and Charlotte's friends. Because he knows their siblings already and no, it's going to happen. It might overlap, but that's a sibling relation, not just a neighborhood relation. Well, they're also growing up in a time when kids don't even fucking go outside to meet each other. And since they don't go to the same school as the kids in the neighborhoods that we live in, It's kind of hard to meet people when nobody goes outside. So anyways, I'm back to the other mom. So Valentine's happened. And that wasn't a dig against yours. That was a dig against all kids that don't go outside. So anyways, the other mom, they exchanged Valentine's gifts. It was very sweet. Very happy. Chloe was over the moon. The very next day. The daughter was told she was not allowed to see Chloe in that regard moving forward because her mom was not comfortable with the fact that they exchanged Valentine's gifts and that was just too fast and too much for 12 years old. I believe it was because Chloe's a girl, not a boy. I don't think she would have said the same thing. But that's just my guess. And she hasn't spoken to me since. You just haven't had a reason to talk. Her youngest had a birthday two weeks ago. Was that the one that Cash was supposed to bring the invitation for? Mm -hmm. Did he actually get an invitation? Yes. Did they know that Cash was related to Chloe? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Why didn't he go? He did go. Oh. But I'm saying that she hasn't spoken to him. Gotcha. So the point of all that is, tell us how we're wrong. (laughs) Or how you agree. I mean, parenting in general is hard. Dating is hard, but... I think that navigating those waters when you're 12 years old and exploring your sexuality is also an added layer on top of that, that some people just are not able to be comfortable with. And I think the way she did it is wrong, but ultimately it's her family and she makes the rules. So what you're saying basically is that kid's going to grow up to be a rebel and is going to get in trouble because she's been locked down. Okay. Versus. I told you the girl's schedule, right? Yeah. So, yeah, she's a ticking time bomb. An activity every single evening. Right. I was just thinking of that. And then therapy. That show that we watched. On Netflix, sex education. Oh yeah, it's like that. The swimmer kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The pressure. The immense pressure to be perfect. You know what takes that pressure off? Let me guess. Having sex and smoking weed. No, I was gonna say just being perfect. Oh. <laughs> Not all of us were born perfect, Andrew. So what you're saying is everything my parents did was right? That is not what I'm saying. (laughs) That's what I'm hearing. That might be what you're hearing. Did I just turn this off? Am I? Nope. Okay, good. Not the stream, the laptop. You know, it would be something like that, though. It'd be a good ending. Just so, cut it out completely. <laughs> so, just so you guys can see, I'm a real boy. I've got no wires. What? Nobody's controlling me. Oh <laughs> my god! All right, Pinocchio. No, but Let's I see that nose grow. But I am remotely controlling my PC. That's right there. That's recording all of this because we've got two microphones, three cameras, and. All the other bits and bobs and even the ladder is supporting bits and us bobs. today. That's what you call my boobs. Yeah. Bobs, not bits. <laughs> yeah. Unless I call your nipples bits. <laughs> your bits and bobs. Okay. For anybody that doesn't get the reference, uh, YouTube bobs and vagine. <laughs> It'll make you smile. Bobs and vagine. It's all those. Um, Are you pregnant? Uh, grad nut? Uh, yeah, uh, it's it. Mostly, it's unsolicited uh, Indian from the country, not from your not Native American. Uh, unsolicited Indian men hitting women up in their DMs, telling them that the uh, milk truck just arrived, <laughs> and <laughs> send send bobs. And it's uh, it's very crudely edited, but it's crudely edited in a way that's awesome because it looks like I did it. And which, if anybody's ever seen anything I've ever edited, you haven't, um, because it's terrible. It will never make it to production. Um, but that's what makes it good because it's uh, it's unique, it's charming in its own. Charming. It's charming. Charming bobs. Yeah, it's got the high deer, the deer that's literally <laughs> smoking a joint with red eyes. Um, yeah. I'm saying all this stuff, and you guys are going to watch this and be like, what the fuck? Welcome to Andrew's brain. Yeah. Hey, we haven't talked about how I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, (laughs) I would say on this segment, you have schooled me. I really, I admit, I know nothing about Dahmer. I was never taught anything about him. I never sought out information regarding him. 
I knew the name existed. I knew he was a serial killer, and that was it. Okay. Did you know any of the other ones from... Um, what, BTK? My, yeah, Mindhunter. Did and you know? They only really talked about BTK, and I didn't know about any of the other ones that were actually in the show. They were teasing the one guy. With the van the entire time. <laughs> they never paid it off. That was BTK that they were talking about. Bondage, torture, kill. Yeah. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah. Um, Which, again, I was never taught in school. Only only picked up through references throughout. What about um, Ed, the co-ed killer? Yeah, no. No. None, none of the serial killers that were in that show. But you knew uh, Manson, right? And his cult? Yes, because that was talked about as a historical event. So I, if I'm going off of memory here, which I could be wrong, I believe Manson and um, Jack the Ripper were talked about in history class just as events in history. Little, they probably had one paragraph each. North Carolina education is superior. Obviously not. We well, guys do rank pretty low. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. we're like what forty fifth out of. I don't know what it is right now. It's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I believe we are above South Carolina though, at least. But I could be wrong on that too. I don't think that's what I saw, but. Yeah, I I haven't looked recently. It's been probably three or four years since I've looked. Why doesn't somebody tell us in the comments? <laughs> oh, we're also on every social media platform except TikTok. But we do have the TikTok account just to have it, to squat on it. Okay. But we're not ever going to use it. I thought you said TikTok got banned. No, it's not all the way through yet, but it's going to be. Haven't you been saying that for years? No, like they actually passed the bill. It's in the Senate now. Like it's working its way through. But, of course, anything the government touches is going to be riddled with other bullshit that's going to make everything else in our life more painful just to ban TikTok. Is that why you are the way you are? Because the government touched you? Yeah. <laughs> The government cannot do anything without fucking up everything, which is why most of these conspiracy pe people, conspiracy theory people, if I could speak English, um, are just completely insane because the, the level of secrecy you would, that would be required to get away with any of the stuff that people claim happens, it's impossible. People are too stupid. Somebody wants to write a book. Somebody wants to get paid for their knowledge. Somebody wants to leak it to China and Russia. Somebody wants to give intel to everyone. Somebody wants to go on a forum and prove to a pretty girl that he knows what he's talking about. There's always somebody. Sounds like you're speaking from memory there. No, this is shit that literally just happened again recently. Like These people have gone onto a video game forum and have leaked actual... DOD, Army, like Pentagon secrets on a video game forum to impress their other video game friends. It's real active duty members of our military are stupid and enough. what happened to them? Oh, straight to jail. Right to jail. <laughs> straight to jail. Yeah. And he says, I, I, we always mess that up. He doesn't say straight. He says right to jail. He doesn't say straight. And the reason I know... What is happening? I don't know, but the dogs are. Oh, somebody must have slipped past her and got down the stairs. Because that it was it was the it was the e collar vibrating. She's not going to go back up. It's probably a whisper all the way at the bottom of the stairs. This is one of those weird houses that has like instead of just having one staircase to take you upstairs, it has two separate upstairs areas. 
that are isolated from each other. <laughs> so the kids that are in the room on the other side of the house have to come all the way downstairs, come all the way across the house, walk all the way upstairs to be able to brush their teeth. They can't just go from their room to the bathroom. <laughs> they have to go all the way through the house. What is, what is this called? Charleston? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a Charleston style house. So if you're familiar with that, you might know what we're talking about. We don't have basements here for anybody that's wondering. This is what the, makes it a Charleston style house has nothing to do with the, the interior. Porch. It's the double porch. Ooh. Ooh, that's what makes it a Charleston style. So not the interior at all. It's just craftsmen inside. So if you're confused, just spend like five minutes on Google and you'll confuse yourself even more. Except now you're encouraging them to stalk us. No, 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 no. No, yes, no. yes, 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 yes. You've already given too much away. The fuck I have. Yeah. You're basically like, come stalk us and sit outside. You know exactly where we live. 1264 South Brooklyn. Is for sale, so please yeah, buy it. Yeah. If you make an offer right now. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll throw in an extra five grand on seller concessions. And I will let Nona send you a video thanking you for buying her house. With her clothes on. Just to be clear. And it will be two to three seconds at most. Uh, <laughs> you're terrible. You don't want to sell your feet pics to these weirdos? Oh my god, stop <laughs> it. What do we what do we come up with the price? Ten grand? Is what we would be happy with for feet picks? Per? No, never going to happen. <laughs> you guys get Andrew's feet? That was somebody's guess on Facebook. They said it was Andrew's feet picks uh, only fans. Oh my gosh. I wonder if you would get subscribers based on your butt alone. They're like, Badonka donk eighty seven. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> I have the most normal size butt. That thing has its own area code. I squat. What can I say? You used to squat. I haven't lost any of the muscle. It's all still there. <laughs> okay. I've got like the. I've got the, the beer keg going on, but it's still firm. Like, I can still flex it, and it makes her mad because it's not just flabby. She wishes she no, could. She does. wishes I could be, like, chunk, and she could just <laughs> jiggle it. Would it be, like, your dog? No. From Goonies. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. He lifts up his, his Hawaiian shirt and. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're so uncultured. <laughs> You're right. I am uncultured. Um. Well. Well. It's about that time. We are going to record three episodes this weekend. This is episode one. This is our pilot episode. And if you hate it, stick around for the next one. Maybe you'll hate it even more. Yeah. Go ahead and just skip this and go to the next one. We are on he's wrong, she's right dot com. That should be launched by the time you listen to this. Oh, God. If it's not, I didn't know it wasn't. No. There's a timer up there, but the timer might not even be accurate. I don't even know what time I set it for. I think it's for 9 a.m. on Monday. Okay. What are you looking over there for? Like it was going to pop up for you? You said over there, so I looked over there. Well, because I don't use this to do that. This literally just remoted in. That's the whole purpose of this device is just to give me a keyboard to type on when I'm not sitting in front of that computer to use that computer, but over here. Okay. But do you see how the screen real estate, you, you understand why I prefer that, Did right? Did you say screen real estate? Yeah, the screen size. Okay. Anyways, uh, completely sidetracked again. That was known as ADD, not mine. <laughs> I don't have ADD. Um, we are on every social media platform you could ever imagine. And if I can, uh, why won't it let me go over? We literally have everything, including Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit. What's Tumblr? Um, 
like Pinterest. But it got filled with porn and then Verizon bought it and now it's back to kind of being like, it's like a- Kind of? I love how we're kind of on a porn site. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Facebook is basically a porn site. Instagram Wait, is basically a porn site. Since when? Since they, people kind of get away with it. They're, I don't- you should Are see, you speaking from experience? No, you should see the kind of shit that goes like the the automated spam filters on um like the baking group. I'll go in there periodically and see if anybody that like legitimately was trying to post got in there. Nope. It's straight up fucking porn. And it's not even like good looking porn. It's pretty disgusting. Sounds like you inspected shit. it thoroughly. <laughs> no. No, I'm not clicking those fucking links. I know what those links do. I create links like that, not with porn. Mm -hmm. Don't ever click on a link on social media. I'm begging you. Don't click, except ours. You can click on ours. <laughs> <laughs> Every link that you click on is tracked both by the platform that you're going to, but also the platform that you're coming from. Um, and there might be some other people in the middle as well. It's your ISP, literally your cell phone carrier, Unless you're using private DNS and a VPN, and even that's not a total catch all or Jimmy's over. Fuck you, shut up. Yeah. Obfuscating is the best way to go about it. Just make everything as fucking difficult as possible to track, like I do. I use fake everything for everything. Our birthday for Pinterest is July 4th, 1904. 1904. I definitely was not born July 4th, 1904. Um, so yeah, all of our links, if you see a link that says lemax.app slash something, 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 I'm tracking it. It's actually, it's just a, it's a custom URL shortener called URL. So you can download it and use it yourself on your own server or at home or wherever the fuck you want. Um, it's very useful. Because you can do a lot of stuff with it, like generate QR codes that are evergreen because you can change the link that it goes to, redirects to, after the fact. This is beneficial for people like Nona, who likes to change the company that she works for and she has printed media floating around. And we know the QR code will still go to the right place. Thank you. I yep. appreciate you. So yeah, this is the kind of useless shit that I have up here, but it comes in useful. He calls it big brain. I do. I do, because it is. You know it is. I just said I appreciate <laughs> you. Um, so yeah, social media, podcast, platforms, RSS. If we don't have the thing that you want, guess what you can do? You can comment and tell us. If you guys are familiar, the algorithm loves engagement both ways, actually. It's actually also beneficial for us to respond to you. Just... Don't be a dick. Yeah, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Thank you for... And don't request bobs. Yeah, you're not ever going to get them. Actually, you know what? I just said don't request bobs. Don't go back on that. No, no, no. So there's, um, there was a saying back in the day in Drinking Bros that you had to send a picture of your bowl to the admins to get admission in the group. A picture of your what? Your butthole. <laughs> Holy <coughs> fuck. So, oh. what are you going to request? I'm not going to request anything. I'm going to send pictures of people's buttholes. To <laughs> to oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and just remember, Nona is not on social media. Uh, if you find a social media account that has her name on it, it's a business page. And you're probably going to get hit with some with some of me. He runs all of it. I run everything. I'm not on anything. I don't exist. Yeah. So you're going to get all kinds of funny. You might not like it, but I'm going to laugh. <laughs> and then I might share it here on screen. We might, we might do a, a show and tell day one day. Uh, kind of like all the yeah yeah okay uh, she sold she sold a Halloween we can't end this episode she sold a <laughs> Halloween costume and it was nothing marketplace it was nothing 
but people asking for her to just model it. Just take a couple of pictures. I just want to take a couple of pictures. That's all we got to do. We just got to take a couple of pictures. I just want a couple of photographs. It was more than that. Yeah, it was more than that. But, I mean, straight up just fucking harassment. And then uh, our hero, Justin Meather from Black Rifle Coffee and Spearhead Group on Facebook, if you guys want to check that out. Um, he had us ship it to him. He wore it for charity. Raised $300 on a Halloween costume that you were trying to sell for 50 Um, And that was donated to IAC Kids, which is uh, an initialism for It's About Caring for Kids, which is a nonprofit that helps families who have sick children that don't have health insurance get the care and treatment that they need to keep their fucking kid alive. So... And we've worked with them before, um, so it wasn't just like a random nonprofit. It wasn't our own. We do have our own nonprofit, Veteran Wiki. You should check that out as well. I'm just going to plug everything. Yes, you are. You're plugging it all. Yep. Just keep on talking. Yep. Um, we do. We have like a billion projects. If I told you guys like some of my clients sometime, you'd be like, okay, just shut up. They're already telling me to shut up right now. Thank you. Um, on behalf of my beautiful wife, Miss Nona over here. And myself, this has been the He is Wrong, She is Right podcast. And we don't know what our cadence is going to be yet. It might be weekly. It might be twice a week. It might be once a year. It depends on how much money you guys give us. Love you. Shit, I wanted this to end sooner. And my laptop screen is la, 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 la. Bye. (laughs)